everybody what's going on today welcome to the channel today i've got a debut video with 99 overall robin yount uh signature series robin yount so it's going to be a debut video in rank season so you guys do me a favor as always make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel subscribe 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 and uh, we're gonna go over the card real quick here and then we're gonna jump uh jump right into some gameplay with him so uh you guys make sure to get your uh make sure you're subscribed and make sure you leave a comment on this video this will be the last chance for entry uh into the autograph giveaway for the autograph cards right now i'll be doing the giveaway tomorrow here on the channel uh giving away first place is uh the pudge rodriguez autograph card second place is the michael young autograph card and and third place is the Joey Gallo autograph card uh, that you guys have seen uh, on the streams and in the uh, in the channel over the last uh, four weeks. So, uh, but let's go over this card real quick, man. Uh, it's uh, it's good contact, man. 107, 10, uh, 108. It looks like 107, 108 on the contact there. Sorry, it's a little small on the screen when I record the audio, so I apologize. It looks like 107, 108. It might be 109. Uh, it's 76, 74 on the power, 121 on the vision, 91 plate discipline. Wish that was just a little bit higher, but that's still pretty good. Uh, 111 on the clutch, so that's nice. He can bunt, uh, 92 bunt and 60 drag bunt. Uh, he's got 99 durability. That doesn't really matter in online play. Uh, but the fielding's good, man. 89 on the fielding, 86 arm strength, 83 arm accuracy, and 86 reaction with 76 speed, 61 stealing, and 59 base running aggression. So he can still swipe some bags for you. Uh, he does have secondary positions in the outfield, all three outfield positions, which will be a gold fielder out there in the outfield, but he's also a gold fielder at shortstop as well. So uh, he's one shy of being a diamond. Uh, if he was a 90 fielding rating, he would be a diamond shortstop. But uh, but still awesome, uh, awesome fielding stats, man. You guys know that have watched the channel here for a while. I've struggled with shortstops all year long, man. So my my quest to find the in-game shortstop for myself is uh, is stopping here at Robin Yount, hopefully. Uh, but uh, but yeah, honestly, I think in my opinion, this card is really a right-handed version of George Brett. Um, that's uh, the kind of feel that I've gotten for him in the offline games and in uh, the subscriber games that I played over the weekend. Uh, he kind of feels a lot like a right-handed George Brett. Uh, the contact and vision is very similar. Uh, power is actually quite similar as well. Fielding similar. The speed is a little bit higher than George Brett. So uh, really, really good card. I'm hoping for me at shortstop. And uh, let's uh, we'll go ahead and jump into some gameplay and see how he does right here. All right, so we get the matchup here against the Melbourne, the Price is Wrong Wolves, man. He's got Joe Morgan leading off, creative player batting second. He's got Ted Williams third, John Carlos Stanton fourth, Griffey fifth, Frank Thomas uh, sixth, Gary Carter seventh. He's got the new Matt Chapman finest card batting eighth, and uh, and then Madison Bumgarner on the mound. So uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good squad he's got going there. Uh, definitely pretty decent. Uh, 199 and 162 record, so he's not a uh, not a bad player by all means. But uh, Joe Morgan steps to the plate here. I've got Nolan Ryan on the mound for me. I do have Robin Yelp batting sixth in this game. Uh, so you guys are going to want to stick around for that last at bat in the eighth inning. And uh, if you don't watch the whole thing, at least watch at least watch that last at bat in the eighth inning. Trust me, uh, for Robin Yelp. So, uh, but uh, but yeah, I get the uh, I get the first out right there on the strikeout to Joe Morgan. He's got his creative player batting now. Comes up, and on the first pitch, I throw a sinker, but not exactly where I was trying to throw it, but he manages to uh, to make the nice play there, and uh, he hits it to second base to Robbie Alomar. So I get the second out. Ted Williams steps to the plate here on the 0-2 count. He's been a little bit late on fastballs at this point in the game, so I throw another one. He was very late on it, and Griffey's going to get down there and catch it down the left field line, just barely in fair territory. So through the first inning, pretty... Pretty quick right there. Not too terribly bad. Uh, but Ichiro comes up here, of course, leading off for me. Uh, he gets him 3-0 and here to start the game. And then throws ball four, man. So he throws four straight balls to uh, to the leadoff hitter. I'm like, all right, well, I'm taking this first pitch because... Um, well, I'm stealing the base, too. Uh, but I'm taking this because uh, he, had already, he had already thrown four straight pitches uh, for balls. He did throw a strike on the first one. And then I actually stole the base on the second pitch. That's what that one was right there. It was a ball very inside. Uh, so the 1-1 one, one count here to Alomar, and he pops it up to shortstop. Not uh, not what I was trying to do, man. I was trying to put the ball on the ground and just move the runner over to third base uh, so I could at least get him to third with one out and uh, and then just put the ball in play to get the run in. So Lou Gehrig steps up here, and I'm like, all right, man, I need to go ahead and swipe third just to, uh, just to make sure since he didn't move him over. 
And I uh, probably would have been out if he would have thrown it because I didn't get a really good jump, man. But for some reason, he throws it to the second baseman. I'm, I'm not really sure what was going on here. Um, he uh, he did this a couple times in the game. He threw the wrong bag. And then all I need is a uh, outfield uh, outfield fly out or a, or an infield grounder or something, and I can score that run. But no, Lou Gehrig pops it up over there into shallow, uh, well, the infield. <laughs> so so that didn't work out well. And then Willie Mays comes up and pops up to center field for the final out. So I strand the runner at third base. Don't quite get that one in. Uh, I'm like, oh, man, all right, that was a wasted opportunity right there. Maybe I should have tried to steal a home or something, but uh, I don't know. Uh, he was very late, like most people are with this Giancarlo Stanton card. So I went with the high fastball on 0-2, and, and same thing, man. He's very late on it. Uh, he's got a very slow swing, so it's a very difficult card to be successful with and uh, and and hit the ball with. It seems like so far, at least at least in pitching to him, that's what I I get the impression of. Uh, and then I throw this high fastball up here to Griffey, which he's a little bit late on, but drives it out to the left center field gap to the wall, and he gets the triple with one out. I'm like, oh boy, here we go, man. That's uh that's not good. That's not a good way to start this. And I got Frank Thomas up, so uh, I see who's up next. I'm like, no, man, we're going to walk him. We're going to walk him and go uh, go for the double play here. Uh, so uh, so I make sure to put Frank on. Gary Carter steps to the plate here. I get the 2-2 two -two count. He's been late on these as well, so I go with another high fastball. It goes way inside, and he swings and chases it uh, for strike three. So I got two down now. Matt Chapman steps to the plate as the number eight hitter, so I go ahead and walk him to get to the pitcher. Because uh, why not, with two outs, go ahead and pitch to the pitcher. I know it's Bumgarner, and he does uh, he does hit well. But, you know, I mean, you got to, no, I'd rather pitch to the pitcher than, than Chapman, you know, any day of the week. So, uh, so I got the 0-2 count on him and then I go with the, uh, the change up here in the dirt and he chases it and whiffs on it there for strike three. And I get out of a little bit of jam after giving up that one out triple to Griffey. So, uh, ended up working out pretty well for me. Uh, at least I'll, I'll take it the way it turned out. So Griffey steps up here to the plate, man. I'm trying to go with that uh, that directional double down the left field line. Trying to swing just a little bit late, and it doesn't quite work, man. I'm out in front of this one, and I hit it, which would have been a, probably a base hit up the middle uh, if the shift wasn't on him, but uh, still wasn't a well-hit ball, uh, and I ground out, uh, ground out there for the first out of the second. So then Robin Yount steps up to the plate here in his first at bat, and he fouls this pitch off here into the stands very late on that one. I'm still trying to get the timing down of his swing and when to uh, swing just uh, just right, uh, but uh, I don't know. He did uh, he did okay. I wish that plate discipline was a little higher so he wouldn't go around on some of those check swings. But uh, um, he does come through, like I said, with a very clutch hit in the eighth inning uh, for a nice insurance run, and uh, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's pretty funny. I got a little funny clip that plays with it too, so you guys will enjoy that, I think. Uh, but yeah. He ends up making uh, making the out there. George Brett gets out as well, so nothing going here in the in the second inning. Still a a tied nothing nothing score. Zip to zilch, and uh, he gets Joe Morgan up here with a 1-0 count and rips one to right field. I think Ichiro's gonna be able to catch it, but if he stops running and and uh, kind of drifts to the ball there, and it goes over his head as he sticks his arm up. So don't know why he stopped or slowed down, but. It is what it is, man. He gets the leadoff double with a fast, speedy runner there at second base, so that's not great. And then he gets the base set up the middle with the creative player, and I'm throwing it home with Willie, thinking I can get him, I can get him. Just barely gets in there safe, man. So the guy gets out to the one nothing lead uh, pretty, uh, pretty quick here to start the third inning. Ted Williams steps to the plate right here. We get him on the 2-2 count, and he uh, hits one back to the pitcher, man, and I turn the double play on him. I get the 1-6-3 double play, so... Uh, definitely take that all day long. And then Stanton steps to the plate again, an 0-2 count. Man, I'm going back to the same exact thing that we did last time on him. Trying to get the K, swinging late, and yep, he does, man. He's got that real slow swing, so if he does make contact with it, you know, the ball's going to go, but uh, but it's it's getting, uh, getting out in front of the pitches, and he just couldn't seem to do it. So Pudge steps up to the plate here and leads off the inning with a base hit up the middle, uh, so that'll work for me. I got the pitcher spot coming up next and Nolan Ryan. So I'm looking to lay a uh, sacrifice bunt down and get the uh, get the runner over to second base. But if he gets a good jump, if he gets a good jump, I'm going to pull back the bunt. And he does. Pudge gets a great jump. So I go ahead and pull back the bunt, take the stolen base. Now I can bunt him over to third with nobody out. Uh, and I don't have to steal the base while doing it bunting to third. 
because uh, it's not going to be a force out. So I square around. I get the bunt down. He pops it up just barely, but uh, it does bounce in front of the catcher there. Sorry for the little uh, video glitch, uh, but it does bounce. It hits the ground, and I move the runner over to third base pretty well. So Ichiro comes up here with a 1-1 count, puts the ball on the ground, and gets that run back. So we tie it back at 1. So uh, I'm feeling pretty good about that, man. He wasn't able to get the shutdown inning on me. I was able to get the... Uh, Get the run back and tie it back up. So that's always uh, always quite nice. And then Alomar grounds out to second base here. Just pounds that sucker into the ground, man. It makes the final out of the inning. So it's still 1-1. I did get my first hit of the game there with uh, with Pudge to lead off the inning. Uh, so I'll take that. But at least we got that run back. So he's got Griffey leading off this inning here. We get the 0-2 count on Junior. Going with the low inside changeup from Nolan. And get him to swing out in front of it quite early. And get him for strike three there on the change. Now he's got Frank Thomas batting here with a 1-0 count. Go with that change again. And he's out in front of it a little bit. Hits it to George Brett there at third. Who makes the play. Throws it to first and gets the second out of the inning. So now Gary Carter steps to the plate here. 1-2 count. Going back to that change up, man. It's been working so far. And strike three. We set down uh, set down Gary Carter there pretty easily. So a uh, quick little 1-2-3 uh, inning after putting up that run and tying the game back up. Uh, so a shutdown inning for me. Not not unfortunately for him, though. Uh, so uh, so he didn't get it. Or fortunately, I guess, for me. Unfortunate for him. Uh, and then Luke Gehrig steps to the plate here and hits a base hit up the middle. Nice way to start the inning right here. Gonna pinch run for him at this point in the game because uh, I need a little bit of speed, man. Try to move around the bases and get a lead. It's the fourth inning. I'm thinking that's okay. He's got the lefty in, so I don't mind putting Jackie Robinson in. Turns out it was a great decision because Jackie has uh, has a great game here the rest of the way out. So uh, Jackie steps up here, 0-1 count. I go ahead and go to steal second. Check swing for a ball, and he swipes the bag. The guy wasn't able to make throws here. The opponent wasn't uh, on stolen bases quite well, so I was taking... Full advantage of that right from the get-go. Uh, and then Willie Mays pops it up here out to center field. So not great, man. I was, again, just trying to put the ball on the ground. Trying to move the runner over to third base any way I could. If he could have hit a fly ball to right field, it would have probably worked. I could have tagged up maybe and made it. But uh, we go ahead and swipe third right here on this one. So that works out okay. Uh, so we, it's, it's just the same as if Willie would have moved him over to third base. Not a big deal. So I got a runner at third, one out. Junior steps to the plate. And he sets Junior down on the... On the high fastball. Not very good. Robin Yount comes up to the plate here for his second at-bat of the game. Looking to get a base hit here. Drive that run in. Take the lead. Throws a first pitch ball. Second pitch coming in here. And he check swings it but goes around. I'm thinking, all right, man. I got to try a little cheese, man. I got to try to take this bag. So I'm going to try to steal home. But I ran too far home before I went back. Otherwise, I probably would have been able to come home and get the run. Uh, but I messed up, and I get stuck in the rundown, trying to just get out of it somehow, any way I can. Almost thought I could have had it there, but I get out. So Robin Yelt will be leading off the uh, the next inning here uh, for the top, for the bottom of the fifth uh, with his uh, with his next at bat. So that was my bad. It was just a bonehead play, man. I I messed up. I I was trying to get a run in any way I could, and it didn't quite work. So Chapman takes strike three there, called on the high inside heater. That was a nice pitch, man. Bring him the high stinking cheddar from uh, Nolan Ryan playing for the cheese. You know, that's always uh, that's always fun. Uh, so he's got Bumgarner batting here. And he pops it up on the first pitch down the right field line. Just barely into foul territory. Ichiro gets over there and makes the, uh, the candid catch down the right field line for out number two. Now Joe Morgan steps to the plate with an 0-2 count on him. And I get him to go around here on the check swing with the change up in the dirt for strike three. So nice little one, two, three inning. Pretty good deal. Only a few hits so far in the game. Really not uh, really not a whole lot going on. Uh, but, uh, but the hits end up, ends up coming in here here in just a little bit. So uh, bottom of the fifth inning, Robin Yelp is leading off again. It's his second at bat. Like I said, he struck out that first at bat. And then he pops this one foul down the line. Luckily, he wasn't able to catch it. Uh, so that was uh, that was nice. 0 1 count here to Yount. 0 1 count to Yount. I love making rhymes. <laughs> I take ball one there on the inside curve. So it's a 1 1 count now here. 
comes back over the uh, the outside part of the plate. I thought it was going to be a little bit lower, a little bit outside, man. It just barely made it in there. It was a nice pitch. I got to give him credit, man. It was a good pitch there for strike two. Uh, and then uh, then he strikes me out again, man. So Yount is struggling in this game, in his first ranked seasons game for sure. Uh, at this point, he is at least. Uh, and then George Brett steps up here, hits what I thought might be a base hit up the middle. Just can't quite get it. And uh, he makes the nice play with his uh, creative player at short and throws me out. So we got two gone in the inning. Bottom of the fifth. Pudge steps to the plate here. He's thrown 50 pitches right now and an even 50 in on this one. This is number 51. Broken bat little dinker there. Ground ball to second base. Morgan makes the easy play. Throws it in the dirt. But, you know, that awesome fielding of Frank Thomas. He picks it out of the dirt for the final out of the inning. He's got his creative player batting here. Three and one count. I aim this right in the lower corner for a fastball, and it's a ball. I walked him to lead off the inning. I'm like, oh man, that was that was a good pitch too. I thought, I you know, could have gone either way. Uh, and then Ted Williams steps up, and thank God Robin Yelp made that catch because that was going to go in the gap, and he was going to run all day on that one. So uh, we get one gone in the inning. Giancarlo Stanton steps up and strikes out again on that high heater, man. Uh, like I said, he just uh, you guys can throw high heat if you've got a high velo pitcher to that Stanton card, and he just doesn't seem to be able to get anything done. He tries to swipe the bag here. He gets caught in the rundown, man. I throw it back right as he's uh, cutting back for second, and then tag him out at second base there for the final out of the inning. So uh, sweet deal right there, man. We get out of it after the, uh, the leadoff walk. So here we go. I got Nolan leading off. It's the bottom of the sixth inning. I'm going to Vlad off the bench, man. Vlad with the shift played on him, facing the lefty of Bumgarner. I'm thinking, all right, man, if I can just get a double down that line here, we got a good chance of getting a run in pretty early in this inning. And uh, I swing at the first pitch. Vlad rips it right up the middle, but right to Joe Morgan there at second base. So that... Uh, that sucked. <laughs> if I could have been just a little bit later, man, I would have had the base hit at least. But uh, he just he just couldn't get anything done, man. Uh, and then Ichiro steps up here and hits the little foul foul pop up there to third base side. And Matt Chapman, great defense. He's able to get over there and make the play. So we got two gone in the bottom of the sixth. It's not looking good, man. I just need to get some runs. Like uh, I'm pitching pretty well. I just need to get some runs. So Alomar gets the uh, the base hit here that hits off the pitcher's feet, uh, and it bounces over to the shortstop. But he's clearly there before he can ever get the uh, ever get the out. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and try to swipe second base here. And I take the base pretty easily. So that works out nice, man. He throws it to the wrong bag even. I'm not really sure what was going on there. Two gone in the inning. Jackie swings and gets a base hit here to right field. I don't know if I can score him, though, because I'm pretty sure he would have been hosed at the plate. So we head back to the bases. I'll just uh, I'll just roll again with first and third, man. See what happens. I got uh, Willie Mays stepping to the plate here. Maybe I can get that hit and run going. Uh, so I go to steal the bag here with uh, with Jackie Robinson and throws a ball. I don't swing at it, man. So I do get second and third here. Not too terribly bad. I'll I'll take it, man. A base hit maybe can score two runs. It's a 2-0 count to Willie, and he goes the other way with it perfectly, man. To right field, same as Jackie Robinson did, and we get the run in, so we take the lead two to one. Still got first and third here. Griffey step into the plate, and uh, Willie Mays uh, going for the stolen base here to put him in scoring position. Also, he's going for the directional base hit there, but uh, he ends up hitting this little blooper into center field that falls, man. So I end up getting first and third again on the hit and run. And another run comes in to score. We got the three to one lead now. Looking pretty good, man. I've got uh, Robin Yount stepping to the plate here for his third at bat. He pauses right here uh, and brings in uh, brings in a different pitcher because I was hitting him pretty well. So he brings in uh, Wade Davis, and Robin Yount finally hits a ball, but he pops it up into left field. Not very good so far, man. O for three. I promise he gets a hit in the next at bat, though. Don't worry. I didn't clickbait you, I swear. <laughs> so it's a uh, it's a funny one, though, for sure, man. I'm frustrated with him at this point, though, with him. Uh, I go ahead and bring in the knuckleballer here, man. Uh, just trying to, you know, trying to just uh, pitch an inning or so and, and see what he can do. I do have the pitcher spot in the order coming up next inning. So uh, he only pitches one inning for me. But I strike out Griffey there pretty easily. And then Frank Thomas steps to the plate here with one out. And... Uh, 
and he fouls that one off, but he pauses right here. And when guys pause for about this amount of time, you kind of assume they might be switching to uh, directional from zone because it is the most effective way to hit the knuckleball. Uh, because then all you have to rely on is timing and you don't have to move the PCI around. So I was being a little bit careful about pitching to him here with it. Um, so he does pop it up down the down the right field line. And uh, Ichiro makes the play. So I got two gone. Man, Raleigh Fingers would have beamed Ichiro right in the side of the ear with that uh, warm-up pitch down there in the bullpen. That was kind of crazy. Good thing they're ghost players down there, man. <laughs> I would have That would have been bad if I had to replace him. Gary Carter steps up here, though. And he does rip this double all the way to the wall. So I'm kind of thinking, yeah, man, he might have switched to directional because he timed that one up pretty good. Ripped it in the gap. Uh, but luckily, there's two outs, so I'm not that not that concerned. He's got Chapman stepping up here to the plate right now. I thought about walking Chapman to go to the pitcher and uh, face the pitcher, but I knew he'd go to the bullpen, so I figured let me pitch to him, see if I can get him out. And he takes strike three right there, called. So not too terribly bad. We get the bottom of the seventh. I got George Brett leading off the inning here. And he throws his pitcher to George. George hits it, uh, which I thought wasn't that bad, but he jammed me. I was late on it, man. I hit it to shortstop, and he throws me out there for the first out of the seventh. So not a uh, not a great start here late in the innings, but at least I've got the 3-1 lead. Feeling pretty good about that, at least at this point. And then Pudge lines out there for the second out. I figure since I feel like he might have switched to directional, that's why I uh, that's why I go ahead and go to the bench here. I was kind of debating it as I as I'm choosing, but I go ahead and put Hornsby in to bat right here. Uh, just kind of going for a home run with Hornsby, seeing if he can uh, if he can crank something. So I start aiming up uh, up and inside, and no, he hits a ground ball. It figures, man. I hit a ground ball when I aim up, and a lot of times when I aim down, I end up hitting the ball in the air. So uh, it's not really ground balls or or fly balls. Remember that it's top spin and. Uh, uh, and you're trying to uppercut also for uh, for backspin on the ball. So uh, I decide to go ahead and put in Miller here for the uh, top of the eighth inning. Just trying to get something done, trying to get through it. He's got his pitcher spot up right now, so he is going to the uh, bench. He brings in Vlad, but it's it's just uh, it's just the diamond Vlad. It's not the signature Vlad. So uh, I wasn't as concerned as if it would have been the other Vlad. Uh, Vlad Sr. card that he put in. But he ends up popping the ball up here to shallow center field. Willie Mays gets in there and makes the catch. So we've got one gone here in the eighth. That works out pretty well at this point. He does pause here. I think he's switching back actually to zone at this point. That's what it seemed like uh, for this pause. Uh, so uh, Joe Morgan up to the plate. And uh, go with the inside two-seamer here to Morgan. And he lines it right to George Brett for the second out. He was quite late on that pitch. He's got his creative player coming up here. 2-1 count. I go with the high outside fastball. It doesn't really get outside. It breaks a little bit inside there. But he flies it out to Ichiro for the final out of the eighth inning. So that works out pretty good. Just trying to get some insurance run on, on runs on the board right at this point, man. Uh, he's going to have to go to the bullpen here. And uh, if I recall right, yeah, he brings in he brings in Billy Wagner, which I don't hit very well. And I've got Ichiro up, who is a lefty. Uh, so I go ahead and warm up uh, warm up Trevor Hoffman. I've also got Ra uh, Raleigh Fingers out there in the bullpen as well. So I got the closers up there. Uh, so I just go to try to drop a bunt down, man, because I'm just trying to get a hit. And I'm not sure what happened here. Frank Thomas misses the tag on Ichiro completely, which he actually did by the animation. He didn't actually tag me. Uh, but usually on that play, I'm out. So I was just trying to get a runner on, man, and get something cooking here in the in the eighth so I could maybe get an insurance run. And uh, so then I steal the base there with Ichiro. Uh, so I got kind of lucky. But I got a runner on second, nobody out. Alomar, I'm just trying to sacrifice him over to third so maybe I can get this one run. I don't know why he turns back to third to try to run me down. But Ichiro makes it easily, and Alomar's safe at first. So it's an error. And uh, now I got two runners on with nobody out. Jackie Robbins comes up and hits the perfect hit and run ball right there where the second baseman would have been. And we're able to go first and third, or first to third and score another run. So that's awesome. Got the four to one lead now. Still nobody out in the inning. Willie Mays steps to the plate here. Pauses for a little bit. I think he was thinking about taking the, uh, taking the pitcher out. And uh, he does. He brings in Raleigh Fingers here to face uh, face Willie Mays. So I'm going for the stolen base and the hit and run again. 
And uh, I didn't mean to steal. I didn't mean to steal home. Yeah, so I didn't mean to steal home on that one. What happened was when he paused, I had meant I had just selected the one runner to steal, but it ended up causing the other runner to steal when he unpaused. And I wasn't trying to do any cheese on him or nothing there. I mean, I was just trying to put two runners in scoring position. But when he threw down to second base, I guess he didn't even notice I was stealing. So I just was like, screw it, man. I'm, I'm going to run home. And I made it safe. So uh, so um, that worked out pretty good. So Griffey comes up here. Doesn't do anything, man. Robin Yount steps to the plate with a runner at third base. I'm needing this last insurance run. He hasn't been able to really hit anything good the entire game. <sighs> Got to give him a little pep talk here, man. Uh, he's just... He's just failing for me. So it's time to take things into our own hands. You know, help me now. So f you, Joe Boo. I do it myself. All right, so Robin Yown here, a 1-0 count. Line drive down the right field line. And he knocks in that final insurance run right there, man. It works out perfectly. The guy is pretty upset at this point. It's kind of been a, uh, a whirlwind inning here for me. Uh, so the score is at 6-1. to one. He pauses right here. And what does Robin Yount do? It's a debut game, so you guys know it's coming. He causes the quit, the rage quit. Uh, so uh, great game, man. Let's go over this card real quick here, man. Again, 107-108 uh, on, uh, on the contact. He's got 76-74 on the power, 121 vision, 91 plate discipline, 111 clutch, uh, 92 bunt. So he can drop bunts down. Uh, I'm sure that'll come useful for me uh, eventually here. Uh, fielding 89, 86 on the arm strength, 83 arm accuracy, and 86 reaction. Good fielding there. He's a gold fielder on the shield there uh, while he's at short. Uh, also in the outfield positions, the secondary positions, he would be a gold shield as well. Uh, 76 speed, 61 stealing, and 59 base running aggression. So definitely fast enough to be able to swipe some bags because I do it with George Brett, so I know he'll be able to do it. Uh, so it's a pretty good card, man. I like it so far. And like I said, it honestly feels a lot like a right-handed George Brett. So if you hit well with George Brett, I recommend getting the Robin Yount card and giving it a try, uh, especially if you're struggling with your uh, current shortstop or something like that. But uh, to me, it really does. Uh, I know they played in the same era of ball. Uh, both uh, both guys actually played for the same team their entire careers. And uh, I don't know. It just it just feels like a right-handed George Brett to me. So uh, really good card, man. I enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. You guys do me a favor. As always, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget, get your comment in, man. This is the last video. You guys will be able to gain an entry in for the uh, autograph giveaway that I'll be doing uh, tomorrow here on the channel. I'll have that video up. Uh, try to get it up before noon central time. Uh, and that'll be announcing the winner of the Pudge Rodriguez autograph card. Second place is that Michael Young autograph card. And third place is the Joey Gallo autograph card. So uh, I'll be doing that drawing tomorrow. Uh, go back and get your comments in on videos if you haven't done it already and uh, get those extra entries. So I uh, look forward to doing that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Great debut there uh, for that final at bat there for Robin Yount. And uh, had to channel a little bit of Joe Boo uh, from uh, from Major League. So, uh, so you know, just had to, had to do what we had to do to get it done. But uh, you guys, uh, you guys have a great one. We'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.